In a world with unlimited power and endless resources, could we actually find a way to obtain peace and completely sweep away all corruption? That's the question that is going to be answered in the brand new anime series, Dimension W. The first episode of Dimension W alone should probably be a good case for the fact that this is going to be one of the bigger anime hits of 2016. This is the show that I'm mostly going completely blind into. I did no research. I had no idea what this show was going to be about, and it was a pleasant surprise. It was also a very familiar anime. This is the type of anime series that reminds me of the stuff that I used to watch on Adult Swim at late nights. It's definitely got sort of that like that cowboy bebop vibe with a little bit of cyberpunk it's a really interesting kind of series and it's kind of hard to describe the first episode but i will try my best so the entire setting of dimension w is set in this dystopian future where these people have discovered this dimension known as dimension w which has these unlimited reserves of energy which they're able to harness through these massive towered power plants which are all over the world and also through these little devices Devices which are known as coils, which they can use to power all types of objects, such as vehicles, water guns, and even cute Lolita robot girls. On the surface, the future of Dimension W honestly seems pretty awesome. Because of all of the unlimited power and energy, it sort of united the world, brought world peace, and sort of monopolized everything. The problem is, there's something else that's not quite on the surface, which has not been revealed to the viewers quite yet, and it almost certainly has something to do with the mysterious Dimension W. That being said, the rest of this episode right here is basically an introduction to our two main characters. First, there is bounty hunter Kiyuma Mabuchi, who is already such an amazingly fun and cool character. He's basically this hardened badass who decides to live in the past. He's a character who's actually going to represent all of the old things in the series. He drives a gas-powered car. He doesn't like to use modern conveniences unless he absolutely has to. He refuses to use coils or any special weaponry and actually just uses his fists his knowledge, as well as these, like, needle-like knives which he's able to throw which are attached by strings. It's pretty freaking awesome. He can definitely handle himself in a fight. Opposite of Kiyoma, we have the character of Mira, who's going to go on to be one of the biggest fan service sensations of 2016. She's basically a Lolita robot girl, but she's going to be very central to this story, and that's because she's actually connected to the new Tesla company, which is the company which creates the coils as well as harnessing the power from Dimension W. She was created by this one scientist who has a really strained relationship with New Tesla, and that's because apparently there was this experiment which resulted in the deaths of his daughter and his wife, and he's been holding that against the company. So he's created this robot girl for some strange purpose that we don't quite know yet, and at the end of this episode, he takes this powerful coil out and causes this massive explosion which shorts out a lot of technology in the area, and he can be presumed dead at this moment as he leaves the last of his wishes with Mira, the robot girl, who's constantly on the run in this episode as both her and Kiyoma are battling against these street punks which totally look like the mutants from Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. Not to mention the episode right here also introduces the entire world of Dimension W as well as the various organizations that actually inhabit it, with Kiyoma actually working for this one woman by the name of Mary who has this amazingly kick-ass office with this giant freaking fish tank filled with great white sharks. If there's one thing that can be said about this first episode right here, it's that it's a beautiful series to look at. Everything just looks so nice, and yet it still reminds me a lot of different sci-fi shows that I'm seeing, so that's actually going to comfort a lot of viewers and sort of bring them in. That being said, I also really love the designs of the character, especially of Kiyoma, who's just such an awesome looking character. The way he fights is also really impressive, the way he actually has his hand-to-hand -hand combat and using his knives attached to strings. You really get to see a lot of that displayed in the intro, which is just so damn good. Probably my favorite intro of 2016 
thus far, and the ending is no slouch either. In fact, I love the fact that the intro of the show focuses on the character of Kiyuma Mabuchi, and the ending actually focuses on the character of Mira, and they both get a lot of really cool things to do. They spend a lot of time on animating these characters. Mira is an interesting character because she's just so fan y It's not that she's like a super like, you know, bouncy, big boobed character or anything. It's just that the camera just really loves to focus on her chest and on her ass. If it wasn't for that, she wouldn't be considered fan y whatsoever. Still, she seems like she's going to be a very fun character and it's going to be another one of those situations where an anime actually makes me care about a robot character. Although I have a feeling she's a little more android than straight robot. Also, I just love the fact that you're going to have Mira teaming up with Kiyoma because they're so different from one another, with Kiyoma being obsessed with the past and, of course, Mira being a product of the future, them being forced to work together. The episode ends with Kiyoma and Mira preparing to team up together to find the coils. So, what's the rundown on the first episode of Dimension W? Holy crap, what a weird but really intriguing first episode of a series. I'm really glad that I went into this one blind. I just love the overall design of this series. It, this is definitely a show that needs to be on Adult Swim. It just has that feeling to it. I'm not so sure why, but it just does. It totally reminds me of that. The action is also pretty awesome, too, and the characters seem like they're going to be a lot of fun. There's really nothing new going on in Dimension W. Nothing that's like really breaking the mold, but it's held together by its strong characters who seem like they're going to be really intriguing, and I can't wait to see them explore this world a little bit more, and maybe explain a little bit more about Dimension W. I have a feeling that's going to be very important to the rest of the series. Obviously it is, it's the name of the series, but I have a feeling it's all going to tie into the fact that something is going to go very wrong. It seemed like these people obtained this unlimited energy way too easily. The best thing about the episode really are the characters themselves, Kiyoma and Mira. They're just really interesting characters and you want to see more of their interactions and just more of them playing off of each other. The action in the episode was also pretty solid. Nothing too crazy, but there were a lot of scenes which looked particularly good, especially that one towards the end where both Mira and Kiyoma were sort of fighting against each other. That one was really fantastic. So this was a really great first episode, a little confusing on a first watch, but on a second watch it starts to make a little bit more sense, and honestly I can't wait to see where the series is going from here. My only complaint for the show is that it's based on a manga series that is ongoing, so I don't know if this is going to be one of those series that has the ability to sort of adapt the entire manga or find a good stopping point, or if they're going to try and come up with their own ending. I really don't like when anime does that, because I want to see the actual story that was intended to be told. That being said, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this one. I think it's going to be one of the surprise hits of 2016, and it's going to appeal to a lot of different viewers. It's an action-packed sci-fi show, which is pretty freaking groovy. I like this one right here. So, I'm not going to give a score to this episode, but I will say it was really high quality, and it'll definitely get a lot of people sucked in. I want to watch a couple more episodes before I start divvying out some scores. And I'm definitely going to have to keep watching and reviewing this show, because this one's really cool, it's really fun to talk about and I cannot wait to see how it's going to unfold. So there it is, my review of the first episode of Dimension W, but I want to hear from you guys. Did you watch the very first episode of Dimension W? Or are you a brand new fan of the series? Have you previously read the manga version? What did you think of the first episode? Are you intrigued by the premise of the show? Do you like the characters of Kiyoma and Mira? What do you want to see from the rest of Dimension W? Please tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this review. Make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!